I just wanted to say I have seen parts of these two facing these insurmountable <laughs> odds physically <laughs> in the worst nature conditions they could ever be put in and they are always willing to do more and give more and give their absolute best and if that's not the makings of a beautiful marriage. I don't know what is. Mm -hmm. So thank you for being my adventure partner and I hope you <coughs> do more in the future. I wish you guys the best. <laughs> um, we get up to a certain spot and Katie says, Dad, can you stop? Jason needs a rest. And I look around at Jason and his face was beat red. <laughs> and I says, oh my gosh, I've killed this guy, <laughs> you know? Well, we get up there, we get up, finally make it up to the top, and I said, Katie, let's go out for dinner, you know? I'm not gonna go out tonight, I'm gonna go back and take a shower, you know? So, anyway, so a year later, they decided to do it again. And so, we were heading on down, it was snowing on the top, raining in the middle, it was sunny at the bottom, and then we finally came back up the other side. They're dancing and singing and skipping along the way, and I'm going to. Uh, <laughs> but we piece. had a great time. Perseverance, he says, I'm not going to let your dad beat me this time. <laughs> 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 so you guys stick together, you hung in there, and they haven't done it since. The <laughs> first time we met Katie, uh, me, Cheyenne, and Christian were visiting Chase, and we were sitting in his front yard and we saw this cute girl walk up to Chase's door and we're like, Chase, who's that girl? Yay! <laughs> She's cute. Um, but so it was an honor to see that. But Chase, you are the most loyal and loving brother I could ever ask for. And I've just, you know this, but I've grown up wanting to be just like you. And I am so honored and happy to be here and just watch, like, watch this commitment and watch it. Um, yeah, I'm honored to see that commitment with everyone here and just bless it and honor it and be excited for what's next. And yeah, so I love you guys so much. And I support you so much. Amen. And I love you. Yeah. Yeah. When I say earnest, what I mean is it's real. It's sincere. You truly want to get better. You truly want to grow. And so much so that you're not afraid to be wrong. You're not afraid to admit when you say something that you didn't mean to say or you don't want to say or to find better ways to do something. There's little, if any, pretense within you guys. You don't need other people to think that you have it all together, which means that you don't waste time faking it or projecting that you actually do. Instead, you get to spend your time seeking the truth, the truth in each other, in your faith, and in the world. So keep asking. An obvious one to all of us, you love to adventure to explore new places and to overcome obstacles. And again, I heard a ton of stories last night of how against all the odds, and oftentimes against your better judgment, <laughs> you guys pursued your goals and made it to your destinations. So now as your goal shifts to a healthy marriage that honors each other and honors God, I'm confident you'll make great strides. And not just because you'll fight for it, but also because we know God's grace and empowering spirit is there to help you through. Over the last six months, Meg and I have watched you guys dive headfirst into very challenging conversations and come out the other side stronger together and more in love with each other. Again, keep going, keep praying, keep pursuing each other, even through the challenges. And finally, grace. It is so clear that God has been at work in bringing the two of you together.
I'm like shaking. <laughs> So good. Oh yes, <laughs> you look good. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow, <laughs> you took my breath away. <laughs> Katie and Chasen, the two of you are so very different, but I bet that doesn't surprise you. Those differences will lead to a lot of moments of conflict, probably also not a surprise. Uh, but that means you get a lot of opportunities to show and practice grace, and that is a sweet blessing. Because growing in grace will take you forward to the marriage that actually is able to honor each other and honor God. Your story has shows the beginning of a theme that you can continue for the rest of your marriage. You chose each other once, and now you get to continue to choose each other each day. Okay, so that leads us to the vows. These vows are not part of the state's requirements, but they are actually something that is a covenant between you and God and a promise to each other in front of all of us. So get your tissues out, people, because they've written their own vows. <laughs> Jason, you can go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Jason, <laughs> I love you. You're my everything. You're my best friend, my lover, my fixer, and you're on my team, always. You surrounded me with the most faithful support and unconditional love. You've held me through some of the hardest times of my life and been my constant through these past years of seemingly unending change and insecurity. I embrace the chance to grow together, getting to know the man you will become and falling in love a little more each day. I promise to stand by you when life seems easy and when it seems tough and to love and cherish you as long as we both shall live. Of one of my big, one of my biggest dreams, to stand here and look at you is something I've dreamed of ever since I was a little boy. I don't quite know what that little boy had in mind, but I promise you've exceeded every expectation. We've carved out a beautiful life together. We found escape and refuge in the outdoors, hiking until our feet throb and our hearts feel full. We spent hours under the stars and next to warm campfires. We found peace in the combo of slow mornings and fresh coffee. We never stopped learning about each other and learning from each other. It's the greatest honor of my life to be yours and yours forever. So as we step into marriage, I vow to prioritize quality time with you, including our candlelit wine nights. I vow to seek the outdoors with you and to always make sure we bring twinkle lights to the tent. 
I vow to make our home so welcoming to friends and family, and of course, host a dinner party or two. I vow to love and care for Addie, even with her 2 a.m. potty breaks. <laughs> I vow to keep looking at you like you're the greatest thing I've ever seen, because you are. And I vow to choose you every day, and to always be on your team. And I vow to grow with you, because our adventure is only just beginning. So I, Chasen, take you, Katie, to be my wife, loving what I know of you and trusting what I do not yet know. I embrace the chance to grow together, getting to know the woman you will become, and falling in love a little more every day. I promise to stand by you when life seems easy and when it seems tough, and to love you and cherish you for as long as we both shall live. Katie, as a token and pledge that you will faithfully perform your sacred vows, do you receive and wear this ring? I do. Jason, as you place the ring on her finger, repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. In token and pledge. In token and pledge. Of my unconditional love. Of my unconditional love. <laughs> Shut <Shepard>. it. <laughs> Overcoming obstacles. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chasen, as a token and pledge that you will faithfully perform your sacred vows, do you receive and wear this ring? I do. Katie, as you place this ring on his finger, repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. In token and pledge. In token and pledge. Of my unconditional love. Of my unconditional love. So, by the authority vested in me as a minister of the gospel, in accordance with the laws of the state of California, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Chasen, you may kiss the bride. It is my privilege to introduce Mr. and Mrs. Chasen and Katie Rogers. shut up about you, which I'm so thankful. So, Katie and Chasen, tonight we celebrate you. We all wish you a lifetime of joy, love, health, success, and laughter. May you continue to find humor in the bad and appreciation for the good. May your friendship continue to grow throughout all the years to come. I truly love you guys, and may the Lord be with you guys, and cheers to both of you. It is so clear that these two are made for each other. They're such a power couple, and they support each other unconditionally. They simultaneously serve and challenge each other. When one has a weakness, the other has a strength. You are both such wonderful people, and together as a couple, you are unmatched. I am so happy to have them together. I think they love each other. I, you see, like, the, like other people have said, you see them looking into each other's eyes, and you know they're just, just there's so much love and dedication to each other, and I think it's going to be wonderful. <laughs> 